pretty good. Mm -hmm. In 1961, they dedicated the uh, airline to the terminal, which was then to become the General Aviation Terminal. Then later, in 1970, 71, uh, I was a clerk of the works as an airport employee and superintendent of operations. Uh, they built the uh, airline terminal building. Those two buildings have since been removed to accommodate the large, very large Bolo hangar, which has a clear span of some almost 200 feet. So there's a lot of history involved in that also. When was this building allowed to, uh, when was this abandoned like this? And why? Why was it abandoned? Well, it was uh, abandoned through neglect by Bridgeport Flight Service uh, about the 19 mid-80s. And then it went downhill ever since. They went out of business, uh, the building was neglected, and once the building is neglected, of course, it just uh, falls to uh, the time and weather and what have you. But uh, this was the first airline terminal building in the uh, state of Connecticut. Now, did we, before you worked at the airport, did you come in? Did you come into this building, like yes, when you were here with your parents yes, back in the did. days? Yes, certainly did. Yeah. So this building actually has a lot of memories for you, besides just having your office upstairs and everything else. It's yep. <laughs> we should save this door. Yeah, that's anyway. that's actually one of our plans. In good shape. Is the back and the front door of the building being that's where the, the pilots and the uh, test pilots came through during World War II as well. Um, See, the airport was very lenient as far as rent is concerned. The rent was kept at a minimum with the proviso that the tenants maintain it, maintain it uh, through their lease period which some did and some didn't. 